Welcome back to the Watchlist, where we're taking an early look ahead to Game Week 5. There's no rush to make transfers, with an international break to endure before the round begins. But here are three players that caught the eye over the weekend's matches. Julian Alvarez opened the scoring in what eventually became a routine win over Fulham after a controversial goal to take the lead before half-time. The Argentine took two shots and amassed 0.43 expected goals during the match, figures which trailed only Erling Haaland among teammates. Over the opening four game weeks, Alvarez ranked second to the Norwegian for points among forwards. Only Jackson, Wisser, Edward and Haaland can better his 11 shots inside the box. No forward has carved out as many as his 12 attempted assists, a tally which ranks joint top with Phil Foden among Man City players. In the absence of Mares and De Bruyne, Alvarez has been handed the lion's share of set-piece duties this season. He's taken 12 corners, which is more than Grealish and Foden have combined to take, and has provided a further three deliveries from free kicks. While the output is there, it's hard to see him losing his starting place, and fixtures against West Ham, Nottingham Forest and Wolves hold plenty of promise. Widely tipped as one to watch after an impressive preseason, Abere Eze finally opened his account for the new campaign in a 3-2 win over Wolves. The Eagles' talisman fashioned a match-leading four attempted assists and ranked joint top with Edward for shots on target, each with three. Only Mbermo, Neto and Martinelli attempted more crosses among midfielders during the game week. Eze's total of 19 shots this season only trails Erling Haaland with 20. Only Saka, Jordan Ayew and Rashford can better his nine shots in the box among midfielders. And just four players, Fernandez, Mitoma, Saka and Gross, can improve on his 13 attempted assists. After a mixed early schedule, Crystal Palace have some relatively good long-term fixtures up until game week 15, making Eze an ideal candidate for those on a wildcard. They take on Fulham, Nottingham Forest, Everton and Bournemouth in four of their next five home matches. Hat-trick hero Evan Ferguson grabbed the headlines in Brighton's 3-1 win over Newcastle, but Callum Wilson also caught the eye with a late consolation goal. The 31-year-old chased down a long ball to bring about the opportunity himself, and Fabian Scher was the only teammate to attempt a shot on target before him. Restricted to four appearances from the bench this season, Wilson has scored twice in just 96 minutes. Among forwards with at least 50 minutes played, only Cameron Archer and Darwin Nunez can improve on his 12.2 points per 90. Averages of 6.6 .6 shots and 2.8 big chances per 90 minutes only trail the Liverpool striker. Last season, Wilson played his way into Eddie Howe's starting lineup with a run of 11 goals in 10 matches between game weeks 29 and 36. The introduction of Champions League football further boosts his chances of increased game time after the international break, ahead of Premier League ties with Sheffield United and Burnley. 